Hey everybody, what's going on? So I was going to share my screen. I'm just having a little bit of a problem with my uh, with uh, my editing tool that usually lets me share my screen and show you guys uh, what I'm talking about. But since that's not uh, working too well right now, it's just being really laggy. Uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of make a quick video just explaining to uh, my Canadian followers how it seems like the mainstream media is really starting to turn on Justin Trudeau. And what I mean by this is someone like CBC, for example, who is basically liberal owned, he was at a recent um, interview where he was talking about, you know, or that he was being asked about, you know, would you consider meeting with these MPs who are trying to voice their concerns? Because as you guys, I'm sure you've heard of, a lot of liberal MPs are really scared right now because they think they're going to lose their jobs because of what happened in the Toronto St. Paul by-election. So as Trudeau is being, you know, He's asking these questions, and he's kind of doing his usual, eh, I'm not really going to answer the questions, kind of dodge that one. Well, even CBC, the CBC reporters who was interviewing him even started to grill him a little bit. Like, hey, how come you're not answering the question? Two of my colleagues already asked it, and you're not answering. And if you're not going to answer, we're just going to assume the answer is no. And you can kind of see this look on his face like, oh, no. Liberal stronghold writings are turning on me. The media is turning on me. Canada's already turned on me months ago, if not years ago, for the most part. So it really seems like, you know, he's really starting to feel pressure. And again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but there is lots of calls from his own uh, members of parliament to resign. Now, yes, you have the Karina Goulds and the Christian Freelands who are out there saying, we support him no matter what. Well, that's great. But a lot of the backbenchers in the Liberal Party don't agree. Most Canadians don't agree. And now the media doesn't agree that he should be the leader of the Liberal Party, or at least consider leaving the party and hearing out his MPs who want to voice their concerns to him. You know, they want to have a meeting so that they can speak to him face to face and voice their concerns, and he seems to not be very interested in that. Right? So... I mean, well, where does Trudeau go from here? You're losing liberal strongholds. You're losing Canadian people. You've already lost the Canadian people for the most part. And now you're losing the media. Right? And the National Post just put out something saying that only, you know, four out of ten uh, NDP supporters actually like the coalition. Or six out of ten NDP supporters like the coalition. Propping up Trudeau's government. They're like, wait a minute, what, what's in it for us here? All this is doing is just propping up Trudeau to, to remain Prime Minister so that these MPs can get their pension before the next election. So even NDP supporters are, smart, are starting to wake up and say, wait a minute, this isn't this isn't really working out for us here. Now that's not going to really matter in my opinion because Jagmeet will never ever call a, vo a vote of non-confidence. There's just no way he's going to do that, risk coming in third place and being ousted by his party before he gets his pension. He is a pension puppet, he is in it for himself. He is a Rolex-wearing socialist. Sorry, a gold Rolex-wearing socialist, which, if you know anything about socialism, that's very interesting, how he pretends to be for the people while he has this ex very expensive watch and he's spending, what, $600,000 of our tax money every year on, um, on uh, expenses and he's got this beautiful mansion. It's like, wow. I don't know, maybe his wife makes really good money too, but he's worth an awful lot somehow. Taking limousines everywhere, it must be nice to be the leader of a failing party and still have all this money or at least access to it. And a lot of people, when they see Jagmeet Singh, say, I'm for the people, I'm for the people, but yet he is not only much wealthier than the average person, he's wearing it, and not necessarily bragging, but he's exposing himself. Like, hey guys, I know it sucks for you. What time is it on my beautiful gold watch? It's like, hey, wait a minute. Macron in France did the same thing where he was wearing some like $25,000 watch or something like that. And he's, you know, being spoken to by the media. They're asking him questions. And you see him just kind of like roll up his sleeve to cover his watch. Because he knows like, hey, the, the people of France, the middle class isn't doing so well. So they're going to be maybe mad that see, you know, my wealth, especially when you're wearing your wealth like that in a very expensive watch. The average person in the middle class who's struggling might say, like, wait a minute, why are you so wealthy and you're not helping us? Why is Jagmeet Singh so wealthy, yet he's propping up a, a Trudeau government who is not here to help us? And now you're seeing people from all parties 
start to turn against this coalition. Uh, liberal writings are have had enough. Liberals are staying home in terms of the election. As long as Trudeau's there, they've made it clear. There's not going to be enough liberals to stop the damage. That's what's. There's not going to be enough liberals voting to stop the damage, to stop what's coming for Justin Trudeau and the Liberal Party right now. It's going to be a landslide. So, you know, yeah, Canadians, writings and the media all turning on Justin Trudeau and this coalition. And it makes me wonder, you know, with you know the House of Commons and question period being adjourned for this summer, maybe before we see uh, the House of Commons come back and you'll know, see the member of Parliament's debate, maybe Justin Trudeau will have been resigned by that. I know that's wishful thinking. I'm not saying <clears throat> that's necessarily likely to happen. But the more pressure he faces, and the more pressure that Mary Simon faces, who I'm sure doesn't want to see the Liberals get absolutely destroyed in the, ele in the next election, she may also step in and say, hey, Justin, it's time to resign. Like, this isn't just up to Justin Trudeau here. His ego will not allow him to resign, in my opinion. But, but Mary Simon could step in and say, listen, we got to get someone else in here. Sorry, I know you're not getting your pensions, but... Let's be honest, you don't really deserve your damn pensions either after you've destroyed this country for the past nine years. So anyway, anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Do you think that the media and the writings and the average Canadian is going to continue to turn on the Liberals? Or do you think that if they get rid of Trudeau, will they be able to make sort of a, some sort of a comeback and at least stop the damage? Uh, I always uh, enjoy reading your comments, and I will reply as fast as I can. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. And I'll be back shortly with another video.